I'm a foodie, so I like to eat. So I'm telling them, when, when we eat, when we eat, and I'm always asking every 10 minutes. So it's like, that's the cook right there. I'm like, you box too? That's fish. What kind of fish? White. This was like, man, yeah, I'm, I'm the chef, man. I got, I got, I'm telling you, you're gonna love the food. I said, what kind of food you got? You got some greens, some macaroni? He's like, no. Some macaroni? He's like, no, bro, it's egg rolls. Cheese steak, egg I'm like, I'm in fit. I wanna eat a cheese steak. He was like, no, cheese steak, egg rolls. Huh? He's like, don't worry about it. And he starts showing me the menu on the phone, and I'm talking about, I, I was foaming at the mouth. And for sure, egg rolls. Oh, man, no, oh, man. Essie's, we on our way. This is in a harder feeling. You see so many people come by, everybody new boots. Everybody walked up to Essie's. Man, I need some egg rolls, ish. I'm sore and tired and starving. He probably ready to go another 14 more rounds. <laughs> Are we in a home of cheesesteak? Are we at the right place? Yeah, we're at the right place. Uh, right it's something place? different. It's not like a cheesesteak, it's like rolls. So you How often do you eat it? I eat here, uh, you know, uh, every couple of weeks, or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. I'll try to eat too much of it. You know. Yeah. But yeah, I, you know, I'm right. always here trying to support. You know, my guy and all that. Well, let's go see what this food about. Sure, that's good. Essie's. <laughs> Pull up. How old is young enough runs this restaurant? 20 years old. He about to be 21 soon. You know, hopefully, we turn him pro by the end of this year. Yeah. I see Beginning next year. Today. Yeah. Working hard. Yeah, he definitely working hard. We making homemade chicken cheese steak egg rolls right now. I'm taking the egg roll wrappers, these right here. Put one one slice of American cheese in there. And shredded cheese on top. You add your chicken to it. You gotta egg it up to make it close. The egg is like your glue, make it stick. That's what keeps it stuck together. Do not give up the recipe. <laughs> Just show them a little bit. Roll and fold, tuck real neat, nice and neat. Egg out on the outside, roll in the flour so it don't stick. There you go. I learned today how important distance is, knowing your distance. Yeah. When I'm at the right distance, how it's just comfortable and fluent it feels. Yeah. When I'm too close or when I'm leaning, it feels it feel totally different when I'm at the right distance. Right, even when you, even if you throw it soft, it still got power on it when you're at your distance. Mm -hmm. You still can knock somebody out because speed and accuracy is, and distance is everything. We never lift weights. Like, the most weight we do is like pushing the weights, but it's like 45 pounds. Like, I don't know, weight lifting not, don't make you strong. It, right. it's, it's maybe like moving wise physically, but it don't make you punch hard. So, so basically what you're saying, well, weights hurt you more than help you. They slow you down, tighten you up. They stiff. Yeah, you can't throw your punches how you want to throw your punches and things like that. Yeah. So. You, you do a lot of uh, road work? A lot of running, a lot of sprints. Do you run, run on street or, or grass? I don't run anywhere, street. We go to Valley Green in the hills, we run everywhere, track. In a perfect world, you would like to fight, what, every six months? If you asking me, I... Every three? I'd be wanting to fight every month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Asking me, I just love fighting. Like, yeah. it, 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 I mean, it's, it, for me, at the end of the day, it ain't about the money. Like, I just love fighting. I love getting in the ring. Mm -hmm. I love putting on a uh, show for the fans. I just love knocking people out. In the ring, it's like a second home to me. Like, I just, I just love doing my thing. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something, too, that I saw. I seen your whole camp, your whole family. Yeah. Which was the dopest shit I've ever seen since I've been watching boxing. Mm -hmm. Your whole camp came out and rooted for Charlo. Yeah. Like, he was a part of y'all family, dog. Yeah. And, and that touched me because you don't really see support like that in basketball from back from each other, from players. I mean, where that come from? This is how he is, you know? They always say Philly, you know, like here in the city, but not the people that I hang with or, and my family members. We, 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 we love everybody. We support everybody. What, you, what was your uh, take on Charlo that far? How did he look to you? Uh, it looked great. Uh, I, I called, I said he was going to get like a, a ninth or 10th round stoppage, and he wound up stopping him in the 10th round. I called it in 10. Yeah, I, I know that guy couldn't take too many uh, head and body shots from uh, Charlo. So, so tell me this, so the mind frame is you fight somebody, you get a draw. Second fight, I got to knock him out. I got to get him out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely what he, what, what he went out there and did. Mm -hmm. he, he kept saying it all week. He said, I, I'm going to knock him out. Had to. He said he was looking for it. Homemade chicken cheesesteak egg rolls. Man, can get a, a whip, can get a picture of this, man. That's right. Okay. Ranch. Good ranch. ranch and sweet Thai chili sauce. Mm -hmm. Need the sweet Thai to go with the roof. Yeah, yeah. I need plus. that. The ranch is a plus, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm digging. You gotta I'm digging. mix them, though. You can't go nowhere in the city and get them. Talk to them. If it ain't Essie's, it ain't right. You got this. This is how you do it, though. You get the ranch, and then you go sweet Thai. There mm -hmm. you go. Oh, the ranch and the. Oh, they mix crazy, right? Oh, man. He mixes it, ish. Yeah. That's how he was supposed to do it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Nah, they good, bro. Let you them gotta get in here, Rose. Let them think about it. You gotta get in there. This chili sauce? No doubt about it. That shit is good. 
Dive in. Go, go yeah, on some. Yeah, go get it in there. You gotta try it. In you want something to take home with you? It's delicious. I'm gonna do my exhibition right there in the gym where we're training at. <laughs> Have it sold out. Fall on that motherfucker. <laughs> Knock somebody out right there, right where it started. Really? You don't need no big Ben. You be doing it right here in the hood. Uh-huh. Pull up. You said pull up. I need to have these in the locker room. S is on the and these in the locker room. Post fight. You heard me? I got you, I got you. Hand me one of them egg rolls in the ring. <laughs> to know you putting your body through so much torture every day, you're only fighting twice a year, once a year. We play 82 games. He's staying prepared for one or two fights a year. I'm deep in love with the sport, but I'm, uh, I'm definitely more of a fan of boots. Just the authenticity of the hood and the people in the streets. I love being there. Oh, that's where I come from. I know it's real love. You know, I, I, I know the smell of neighborhoods like that, the lingo, the do's and the don'ts. You know, I know it.